My name is Whitney, for those of you that don't know me. Um, that's a little loud. Um, this is actually my second time filming this because I did the other one way too long. Um, and so here we are. Um, and so today I'm going to show you guys my like everyday routine, just like a natural look. Um, so let's get started. Um, so for primer, I just wash, like, wash my face, use moisturizer, so all good to go. Um, for primer today, I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Um, this stuff is bomb. Um, it looks like this. Um, anybody can use it. Like, seriously, like, I can use it. Your grandma can use it. If you're oily, you can use it. If you're dry, you can use it. If you're combination, you can use it. Like, literally anybody can use this. Um, it is awesome. So, I take about... It's like a good like squirt of it and then I just like kind of put it on my fingertips like this and like rub it all over my face notice how I'm wearing cat ears yes I am a cat person yes I have a cat her name is Cohen if we're friends on Facebook you know this and if we're friends on Snapchat, you really know this. <laughs> okay, so then, moving right along. I'm trying to make this video faster, um, if you can't tell. Um, I'm going to go on with foundation, and my favorite foundation right now is um, Dior Skin Forever Foundation. Um, if you follow Jaclyn Hill, she's been raving about this. That's how I found it, and it's literally bomb. Um, I feel like anybody, again, can use it. Like, I'm oily skin, and I love it, so it's awesome. Um, and I'm going to put this on with my Morphe M439 brush. It looks like this. Just put a couple pumps on the brush. And I blend it down like onto my neck just because I don't want any harsh lines. This foundation um, dries more like a natural finish, um, so it's definitely not matte, but it's not dewy either. So like, I feel like it's literally perfect for anyone. Okay. So you can see it's definitely not like full coverage, but it's really pretty. Um, so next, I'm going to concealer, and my favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I have the color Light Medium Honey. Um, it looks like this, and this is the best concealer ever. And I just put it underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows, on my cupid's bow, a dot on the corner of my nose, and my chin. And I'm going to blend this out with a damp um, beauty sponge. And the one that I'm using right now and I'm obsessed with is the Eco Tools Blender. Um, it looks like this. You can see the flat top right here. Um, and then it's got like this round side. Like it's just awesome. So you just wet it, um, wring it out, 
and it's the perfect way to blend out your concealer. Okay, so that's all blended out. And then we're going to set it. So I'm actually out of my favorite setting powder. I normally use the Laura Mercier powder. Um, and next I'm actually going to try the Cover FX one. But right now I have this one. It's by NYX. Um, it's their HD um, finishing powder. And it's in banana. And I'm going to use this with my Morphe E49 brush. Um, it looks like this. It's got like this little point at the end of it. It's just a good fluffy brush. And so I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes. And I kinda like tap my um, eyelid too, just to like set it real good. And this will keep your uh, concealer from like creasing or anything. And then if you crease like around your mouth, um, you can do that there too. Your forehead, same thing. You can just do it everywhere. Go crazy with it. Okay. And then next, um, I actually am going to use the same brush, um, but use my Kat Von D um, contour palette. And I'm going to mix these two shades right here underneath my eyes to kind of brighten them up. This is such a good song. Okay. So you can see like it really like lighten that up. Okay. Next. So much stuff. Okay. So then I'm going to go over my whole face with powder. Um, I love to set my entire face with powder. A lot of people don't, but I do. Um, so I use the MAC Studio Fix. It looks like this. And I have the shade NC30. And I'm using the Morphe E3 brush. It just looks like this. It's just a big, fluffy brush. So I'm going to get all up in here. I'm almost out. I use this literally every day. I keep in my purse. It's awesome. I'm gonna go down on my neck. Oh, the hair is getting all up in here. Get out. I'll go this way so it's not like bringing my baby hairs up in here. My cat ears are supposed to be holding them back, but... Okay. So then, I do bronzer. And I'm going for like a bronze look, not a contoured look today. So super, super casual. Um, I'm going to be using the Too Faced bronzer. And it looks like this. And it's the color Chocolate Soule. Soule. I don't know how to say that. Um, and then it's the Morphe M523 brush, and it looks like this. And then I just get on up in there. And then when I go like in your natural like face crease, whatever that is, right here, the little fish, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of just being like very like all over the place with it. I do this in the summertime really because I just want it to look like I went to the pool if I'm being honest. And then I get underneath my chin lightly. 
make sure it's just kind of blended real good. And then we're gonna bring it up around the edges of your forehead. And kind of like lightly, just make sure it's like blended real well, but really get in like the corners. And your nose. Um, I'm gonna do blush and I'm actually gonna use my Benefit Cheekathon palette. They don't really sell this anymore, but um, they have one very similar to it. So um, it has five shades in it. And I'm going to use my E4 Morphe brush. It's super ghetto. I glued it back together. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to mix these two shades. My camera is currently like overheating right now. Mm -hmm. No, it's not good. I'm going for like a sun kiss look. Like, if you can't tell. So you can see it's super light. Like it's not like crazy. Like I could put a ton of this on and I feel like it's still gonna look like I barely have any on. But it just adds that extra glow. You look like you went to the pool. Okay. So next, I'm going to highlight. This is so much faster than the first one. I feel like I'm like zooming right through this. Okay. So next we're going to highlight. I'm going to use my Becca Champagne Paw. Um, and I'm going to use my Morphe M501 brush. And it looks like this. And I'm just going to like, kind of like with the tip of it, just kind of like, get up in there and then tap it off and then go on the top of where you put like your blush my cupid bow and then the bridge of my nose and then right above my eyebrow those are my favorite places to hide it and I'm really wanting this to pop so I'm just kind of getting crazy with it. But you can see, it's popping. It's popping. Okay. So next is eyes. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Peach Palette. Yay! I love this palette. It looks like this. And it smells like peaches. For real. Yes. Oh, this is the best palette. I've been using this every day for like months. Um, and I'm going to go in with this peaches and cream color. My Mimi used to make peaches and cream ice cream. So good. That was weird. I thought my camera like stopped recording. That was awkward. Just glanced at y'all. Okay. So I just kind of like go over your entire eyelid. With that. I need a new song. I need, I need something a little bit better than this. Getting jiggy with it? What is that? No. Oh, Macy Gray. I can always get down some Macy Gray. Okay. So then I'm going to go in with this nectar color. And just kind of go like more like just on the like lower part of my lid. I did it again. I'm sorry. Okay. And then, I'm, no, nope, okay, then with this brush, oh, that was my naked brush, this is just a fluffy brush, it came with my naked two palette, um, I don't even know if they make that anymore, um, but this one, they do, <laughs> this is the Morphe 433 brush, and I'm gonna use this Georgia color. Georgia. I'm just kind of like going the crease. And I'm kind of like messy with it because I'm not going for like a, you know, perfect. Like we're, it's just casual. We're just chilling. Every day. This color is so pretty. It's like the perfect brown. 
It's like a warm brown. I love it. It's really pretty, like warm brown. Oh, it needs a little bit more. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the M441 brush by Morphe. It's just a bigger version of that other one. Um, and I'm gonna take this brown. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Caramelized. And I'm just gonna kind of go over that. I feel like it kind of just makes it look a little bit more like darker in the crease. I don't know why, because I think that color is lighter, but I don't know. Okay. I'm digging this. Digging it. Alright. And then I'm got a little bit right here, so I'm just taking this like brush that I had used earlier just kind of wiping that away okay and then next I am going to use the E18 brush by Morphe it looks like this and I'm going to go in with this luscious color luscious and I'm just going to go in the inner part of my eye like the inner part of my lid I should say if it was in my eye that would not be good Okay, so you can see you just kind of like added like some shimmer up in there. Some shimmer, shimmer. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the E36 brush by Morphe. It looks like this. Smaller version of that one basically. And I'm gonna go in with white peach. And I'm gonna go up where my eyebrow is kind of. I need to get them waxed. Fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. And then I go in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to oh, weird. <laughs> I'm going with that Becca champagne pop that I use with that same brush. Just get a little bit. You can already tell I'm not gonna like this song. Nope. What am I feeling? Oh, here we go. Okay, and then pop that in there. And a trick to make this more like poppin' is to use Max Fix Plus. And um, I have the lavender one, and I just spray it. And then get up in there again. And then go up here and make that pop too. So you can see. Maybe you can't see. Uh. Okay. Then I'm gonna do my brows because I ain't got none. This is actually a Mary Kay brush, um, but it looks like this. I mean, you could probably find one. I know Elf has one that looks a lot like this. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna use this color, Charmed, I'm sure. And then I just kind of lightly, because I don't know, I really light hair, so I'm not trying to like have, you know, some Kim K eyebrows or anything. Okay, and then I take my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. Um, and just kind of go over it a little bit and make it more like filled in. Oh, oh, my spoolie is about to come off. I'm a little hard on my products. Oh 
right. So funny thing about this eyebrow, um, I, I well, he's my ex stepbrother now, but he shoved me into a couch when I was little, and I had to get stitches, and it never grew back the same. So it doesn't like to be filled in. It's a little bit of a workout for that. It's the only workout I'm really doing. If I'm being honest. Okay. Alright, that's good. Okay, so that's what I do with my brows. And then since I got a little crazy with it, I'm gonna go back with that like little little brush and just kinda like do this with my brow bone. Okay, the next is eyeliner. Yay! And I actually use a Maybelline Unstoppable Coal. It just looks like this in Onyx. Um, I really like coal, especially like on just chill days. Um, oh, I'm almost out of this. Okay, so I just kind of lightly put a little bit of it on. I don't go crazy with it. to go buy some more after this. What's funny is I'm literally doing nothing after this. Like, I'm just getting ready just to sit on my couch with my cat. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Because you know Larry used to be like the shiz. Alright, and then I just put a little bit underneath. Just a tad. Yeah, I'm going to go buy some more. I'm completely out of this. Alright, so that's, that's just what I do with my eyeliner. Like, it's super, super easy. Okay, and then mascara. Um, and also, like you can see, like it looks good now, but I have this other, I've been doing this lately. Um, it's by NYX, it's a white NYX, and it's the white coal or whatever. Um, and I just put this underneath. I feel like it makes my eyes just like pop. So I'm really liking this lately. So you can see, like it's just kind of made them just making my eyes look more like awake, I feel like. But this is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in white, I guess. Waterproof. So that's good. Okay, and then mascara. So for mascara, I'm like getting way ahead of myself. Um, I use a Tarte. Tardiest. And I think it's just black. And I use that. And I also use the roller lash. Those are my two favorites. I'm pissed. All right, continuing. I look like I have RBF right now, like real bad. I look pissed while I'm doing this. I'm not, I swear. This is my focus face. Alright. Looks good. 
Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, and then for the bottom, I really love my roller lash for the bottom. Um, and I use, it has like this like middle side. You can see like this little baby side. It's perfect for getting up in there. You can see like it just make it doesn't make them clumpy it doesn't like you know make them look too long where you look like a drag queen or anything like it just looks good all right and then next is lips and i'm actually going to use the kylie coco k lip liner it looks like this it's a really pretty like pinky nude Okay, so you can see like it's a pretty like pinky nude. I love it. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty. Um, and this is in Bombshell. This is like a really like creamy matte lips, like lip stain. Uh, make sure I didn't get it on my teeth that would be awkward okay so you can see like it's just a warm peachy color I love it okay this eyebrow is like a little crazy right there and right there wow okay no mm -mm. I don't like it okay that's a little better it was just a little crazy okay Rihan Shanid. Shanid wants to be my friend. I don't know who that is, so I'm going to admire that. Okay. I did it again. I'm sorry. All right. So, since I kind of, like, did my eyeshadow and everything, and I just, like, I just want to make sure, like, it all cleaned up, like, you know, kind of go over with that powder brush. And since I don't like my eyebrows real dark, I always kind of, like, just make sure I hit my eyebrows with it. And then I'll just take that champagne pop one last time. Because I'm just high maintenance and I want to make sure I'm glowing before I leave anywhere, you know? Okay. That was so weird. Okay. And then, I feel like I got one of those hairs in my nose. Okay. So then I'm going to use the Morphe Prep and Spray or Prep and Set Spray. Um, and it's like a mist. Like... Yes! So I'm just gonna... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo-hoo! Yes! So much better than, like, I love All Night Art Dumber. I love it. But, like, when you spray this, like, it's, like, like, all on your face. And you're just, like, cool! So I gotta redo all of that. This doesn't do that. Okay! That's it. I finished it. All right. So I shot my first YouTube tutorial. Woo! Yes, I did it. Okay. Follow me. Subscribe to my channel. Like this. Do whatever you got to do. And I'll keep uh, sending tutorials your way. Alright, bye guys.